My mom is on her way home and she wants me out by the time she get here all because I didn't cook dinner for her raggedy ass son. That's like, bro, he's dirty. Only 17 years old. This man is 20 years old. He can cut through. Go to jail. I promise you. Well, girl, if you don't get the out of my house, I'm gonna hurt you. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't give a if you go to the moon. Get your chicken head and ass out of here. I was cleaning. That's why and doing my homework. That's why I did not cook for him. Your home and your work. Get your shit and get the out of my house. I don't wanna go. <laughs> Oh my god guys the amount of hatred oozing from that woman look at her face the hatred on her face and the one coming from her voice is just so much for one person to handle and to think that the girl is just 17 did you hear when she said i know she's going to try to hit me that means the woman has been doing it for so long Please, can somebody explain to me why a mother would be treating her child like this? Is it possible that the baby is, the child is not hers and she, this girl does not know that that's not her mom? Because that's only, I don't even know, that's not even a justifiable reason for somebody to do this. But that's why I'm saying maybe that's why the woman is doing it. That's why she has the mind to do it like this. But not you, a daughter you pushed from your V, carried for nine months, you are treating like this. And the way she said, Andrew and baby, the way he's even addressing the boy, 20 year old boy. God have mercy. Oh God, there's no father in the house. This is it. This is when I support women and saying the we house filled with just a single mother then to turn her back. This is it. And see the way he's training the boy. The boy is there hearing the mother talk to the sister like this and he's not doing anything. No, no, no. That's so bad. Let me just allow you guys to hear what people have got to say about it. I don't know. I'll still look if there's something because some person was asking about her information and all. I just hope that something has been done about it. I was checking. I didn't see so much about it anymore. But if you know anything about that, because some persons were asking for information if she let her got the help she needed. I love the fact that she recorded because only God knows how long this has been going on in this household. Let me allow you guys to hear what the people have got to say about this because this no, this is this is not a way for a mom to behave at all. Has anyone else seen that video of that mom being mad at her daughter for not cooking her brother food while the mom was away at work? 
Ugh. Like, I hate... This is why I be saying, like, I'm so glad I never had a brother. Because I'm Nigerian. And, like, the way Nigerian families work sometimes is when you have a brother, like, it... Like, they just, they just got this pedestal for for the, for the your brother. And, like, they don't have to do anything in the house, like, in regards to, like, domestic work. But, like, the girls have to, like, you're not, you need to cook for your dad, cook for your brother, cook for who, da 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 like, uncles, whoever, like, in the mail that's coming to the house. You know what I'm saying? I hate that for that girl. Like, you're, and the brother is, like, 20-something or 20. Like, the mom, she's like, get out of my house. You didn't cook for your brother. He's been sitting here hungry. The only thing he ate was some cereal. Oh my gosh, too bad, too freaking bad. Oopsie days, he's like, why can't he make himself some food? Like, that stuff is, like, so crazy to me because the mom is really going to kick out the daughter who was, she said she didn't cook because she was doing her homework. And the mom over here like, no, you got to go. You got to get up at my house because why do you leave your brother hungry? Um, Perhaps because he left himself hungry. Because he left himself hungry. Like, girls should not be allowed, like, sisters should not be required to cook their brother's meals if it's not voluntary. Like, it's not voluntary no, I don't think you should cook your brother a meal. I don't, I don't think so. Like, no, like, why, why, why didn't your mom pre-make something for him for him to warm up? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not our problem. Like, that's not your daughter's problem. Like, the fact that she's really going to kick out her daughter, kick out her daughter for not giving her brother food, and then the brother's still sitting there on the game. Delusional. The way that moms treat their sons like their son is their man. Like, no. Babes, this is your son. Your man? I don't know where he's at. You need to find him, locate him ASAP, because what? He, like, he can't make no food for himself. I would have left him starving, too. That mom who was mad at her 17-year-old daughter for not fixing her 20-year-old brother something to eat is mad weird to me. Like, it's strange as fuck to me. Like, she walked in the room... And asked her son, baby, have you ate? And he said, no, she only fit. No, she didn't want to cook, so I ate cereal. And the mom turned around to the daughter and say, you mean to tell me all he ate was cereal? Oh, you finna have to get out of my house. Like, excuse me? And to mind you, it's not like the boy doing nothing major. He ended up smoking it, rolling up and on his game like, why his big grown ass can't fix his own food? Then a mama telling the daughter, oh, you finna have to get out. Oh, you ain't want to cook. Um, I'm finna show you. And then a girl say she record her. Oh, don't record me. Um, I'm finna show them how I beat you. Blah, say, squad, say, but like just the whole situation wrong. I just feel like personally, why is your daughter bring, like, why are you bringing her up to cater to your son? Like, why do, like, girl, like, why do you feel like she has to feed him? Why are you even trying to install that in her? Like, am I tripping? There's no way my daughter is going to have to cook for her older brothers. Like, no, everybody, like, up the age, baby, fix your own food. It's really that simple. Then you could tell that the girl be going through a lot because the girl is, like, terrified of her mom. And she tell her my machine got nowhere to go home. I'm like, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You need to kick that big overgrown ass boy out your house. What the fuck? That's not fair. That's That's not fair. I debated on making this video because I didn't want to put any bad juju out there. But someone speaking from experience, someone who, who dealt with this, you start to see the signs around puberty. That's when your mom is going to start treating you different if she's like this. Like once you start developing, all of a sudden she won't have money for hair, for nails. She's not going to want to see you look in flattering clothes or have new stylish clothes. And be prepared because it's coming. Because now you're starting to develop into possibly her competition, especially if she's single. Because how dare you look better than her? You need to suffer like she suffered. You need to get left like she got left. So get prepared because by the time you turn 21, it's probably going to be time for you to go. That 17-year-old girl crying out to the internet broke my heart. Because there's men in my family that are just like that. That their moms really believe the presence, the mere presence of a man in the house is an achievement. Because they couldn't keep none of their baby daddies in the house. They think just having a man's presence is is, is going to save her. It's going to be her ticket to heaven. And she probably thinks that loser is going to be her golden ticket to not getting into a nursing home. Because these women really, really believe that that man's strength and maybe his ability of actually getting a job 
means that he'll be able to get paid more because in her head, she's still a second class citizen. And that even though she's making good money right now, that he might possibly get a job, make more and take care of her in the future. That's really what she's thinking. I'm telling you, that's really what she's thinking. She treats her daughter like that, not only because she hates her baby daddy, but because she's jealous of her daughter. And she is purposely keeping her son cradled, dumbing him down, okay? Purposely dumbing him down. So he's not an able-bodied citizen that could contribute to his own household if he were to move out because she wants him to depend on her. So she doesn't actually understand that she's doing the quite opposite of helping her cause in case she needs him in the future. Because all that man's gonna do is either try to get her in a nursing home or pass, him, pass her off to the woman that he ends up marrying. <laughs> that's, if, that's even the goal, but pass her off to whatever woman he sees fit to take care of his mother. I feel bad for that girl because mothers like that are the types that say, my daughter disrespects me. My daughter takes me for granted. My daughter takes advantage of me. My daughter never listened. And then she's crying about having no contact just because it makes her look bad, not because she actually gives a damn about her daughter. That's the type of mother that lady is. I hope that little girl moves the fuck out. I hope she moves out and never talks to her mother again. Because I know exactly, like, I know exactly how her mother looks at her. And she looks at, at her daughter like she's a burden, a maid, and a second-class citizen. And, like, we all know that misogynistic men are narcissists, and they are literally the worst things to walk on earth. But a misogynistic narcissist for a mother who centers men? Oh, they're, they are the death of their daughters. They are the ones who give their daughters nightmares. They are the ones that break their daughter's spirit. Those are the people that are putting their daughters on medication. Those are the people that create some of the most broken hurt women on this planet. Not, not just, you know, the fathers that aren't there because that's a form of abuse. A father who's abandoning you a father who isn't present yeah that's horrendous but when you have a mother who's present who doesn't even see you you're just invisible to her because she's centering male validation from her son it is one of the most darkest existences on this planet hi good morning so just yesterday, a 17 year old baby girl posted a video of her mother sending her out of the house. The mother just returned from the work and she's yelling at this girl. She's shouting, screaming at her and then finally told the girl to leave her house. All because she did not cook for her 20 year old brother. <laughs> hey, the brother is not disabled. The brother has both legs and hands so he cannot cook for himself at 20 he's waiting for his sister and then when the mother came back he went to report to the mother oh she didn't cook for me and the mother took the matters into her own house by telling the girl to leave her house eh? at the end of the day you people will still complain what are you training these monsters for eh mothers you need to do better a boy child is not more important tell him how to cook he needs You know, my mama we we differ a lot but we still we're still close on a certain level and it's expected for children to grow up and like pull away from their parents when they as they start making their own way in the world but I got some of my best qualities from my mom and one of my mom's qualities that's it's her best human quality and it's also very annoying is the fact that she will see something, she will see someone that needs help, and she's gonna help them. I'm the same way. It annoys the fuck out of me when I do it, because I am always willing to give somebody my last of any damn thing. 
But I seen a video that at first I thought, well, he's just a little guy. Feed him. He can't feed himself. But then when I realized that motherfucker, when I realized that, hmm, when I realized that fool was 20 years old and he ain't got no special needs, or apparently he doesn't have a special needs where he needs another adult or teenager to cook for him. You know, I looked at this video and I just looked at it again and I can't get all the way through it because it gives me such anxiety. That woman seems to be having, she's, she looks like she has on scrubs. So she can either be a nurse, a CNA, or work in an assistant living facility. And I thought to myself, when that girl drops you in a nursing home, and not just any nursing home, one of the worst nursing homes that she can find, when she drops you in there, don't be sitting back twiddling your thumbs talking to the other CNAs and nurses about how you don't understand what your child is. She just do you so wrong. She just dropped you in there and left you. She don't even come see you on Sunday or Christmas. My mom would not be on the phone with that woman. She could not be that woman's colleague. I couldn't be on the phone with her. I couldn't be her colleague. Because that girl would be sitting there having anxiety as soon as that camera cut. I or my mama would be one of the first people she called. Miss Red. Miss Minister. I don't have nowhere to go. Why? Because ABC123. Come on. I'll be there to get you in a minute. Ain't no way. My mama caught a local homeless man, and I say local because he, we knew him. He was homeless. He was always doing stuff in the neighborhood for money, sleeping on our porch. What are you doing? It's the middle of winter. Miss Minister, I ain't got nowhere to go. I don't got this. I don't got that. You come in here. You get yourself a hot shower. Let me wash your clothes. Let me make you something to eat. If you want to stay, you can stay. But if you want to go, you can go. But at least you know you can get yourself a hot meal and a hot shower and your clothes washed at this location my mama has taken in kids that their parents kicked them out and said they wasn't worth nothing and you know what those kids would end up being drug dealers or prostitutes if it was not for my mama telling them uh uh you gonna finish your schooling you are better than this I'm so if that girl drops that woman in the worst nursing home that she can find I would not blame her and looking at it, that's probably a situation that might come to be. Because if you busting her chops because she didn't cook your 20-year-old son something to eat, your 20-year-old son, when you get to that age, ain't going to take care of you because there ain't nothing you can do for him. The only one you're going to have left is that daughter that you busted her ass because she didn't cook for her brother. And when she dropped you in a nursing home, everybody... It's going to understand why. It's fucking sad.